Oh my gosh, the tarantula. <gasps> oh, the scream. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are back at it, reacting to the hilarious medical scenes and holiday injuries from Home Alone. Let's make like Marvin Harry and dive right in. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh! Oh! Who hasn't done that before? Really gotta be careful of whiplash injury, hitting the back of your head, so skull fracture, maybe intracranial bleeding, but typically that's low, but what you can have is a coup counter coup movement where your actually brain sloshes forward and backwards. Oh! Oh, in the face! The fact that it actually hits him on the face exactly flat on the iron part could have happened, maybe. But imagine it hits like the spike into you on the front. A lot more damage, laceration, could cause a puncture wound, could fracture the bone. <laughs> It looks like by the mark on his face that the iron was on. Typical treatment for a burn like that. It's just pain control. You don't even really need to put anything topically on it unless the skin starts opening up and then the underlying tissue is exposed. You want to make sure that that doesn't get infected. <laughs> How do you not look at the ground? And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, the skin on the bottom of our feet are very thick. Once you actually puncture through that, it actually hurts a lot. Now you have these small pieces of glass in there that are very hard to see. Luckily, these are colored, so it might be a little bit easier to get out. Here, you morons! Come and get me! Got the bait. Oh, man, it's like the Lego challenge. Marv doesn't have any shoes on, Harry does at least. Hardwood floor, the little cars, oh, you're done if you step on that. And you're worried about head injury, fracturing of your back, as well as whiplash injury in this situation. Heads up! Oh! <laughs> took a paint can to his face. You can fracture your nose, fracture your orbit. Could cause also a dental avulsion or a dental fracture. If you do have an avulsion, find the tooth, put it in your mouth, get to the dentist ASAP, get to the hospital. Don't worry, Marv, I'll get him for you. Harry! Get him, Harry. Oh! It actually looked like it hit him in the forehead, which is actually a very dense area where your bone in your skull is. Obviously, there's air pockets right here because of your frontal sinus, but it's just still pretty dense bone, so it's actually not a bad place to actually get hit in the head compared to everywhere else on your head. Oh my gosh, the tarantula. <gasps> oh, the scream. <laughs> So if you get bit by anything, your body's gonna have a natural response. The biggest ones we worry about when somebody comes into the emergency department is the Black Widow. It has a red hourglass on its belly. And then the other one we worry about is a brown recluse, which then actually has what appears to be a violin appearance. <laughs> That scream is the best scream ever. He can't get his words out. And a lot of times this very much does happen when there's a stress response. You just can't focus, your adrenaline is going, and your mind is actually not that clear in the sense of trying to articulate what you're trying to say. Don't move. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? Come on. Hi! Oh! That's definitely gonna break a rib right over the left chest, right at the attachment of the ribs to the sternum. Oh my gosh, it's gonna hurt so bad. That's gonna hurt. If you hit too hard, you can actually stun the heart itself and you can actually cause a cardiac arrhythmia. We're not gonna hurt you. <laughs> yes. That's nice presents for you. Be a good little fella now and open the door. Oh! Shoot, <laughs> I've actually seen people come to the emergency department who have gotten shot with a BB gun. Sometimes it actually goes into the skin and is embedded in the tissue versus just bouncing off and causing a hematoma. <laughs> I love this part. Hello. Hello. <laughs> 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 
And I actually have seen somebody get shot in the eye and the BB go through the eye and the person becomes blind. You gotta be really, really careful. It can go into your ear, it can go into the neck, puncture through the soft tissue and go into that area. Multiple different things that can happen. Or shove a nail through his foot. First thing I'm gonna do is bite off every one of these little fingers. Biting off fingers, could you cause fractures and injuries if you really bite down on it? Yes, maybe, but please don't do that. It's gross, it causes a lot of infections to the finger itself because their mouths are super dirty. You won't be actually be able to replant those back because of the amount of destruction. One at a time. So he's hanging by his sweater on a hook. The front part of the neck is going to take a lot of pressure. It can compress down the major blood vessels of your neck, increase the amount of congestion of blood above that area, which then you can cause a syncopal episode where you pass out. The neighbor, oh, shovel to the back of the head definitely can cause a skull fracture, can cause a hematoma to the head, but this one just knocks somebody out. Oh, I live now in Southern California. We don't have these shovels anymore. If you're a little bit deconditioned and it's snowing and you're gonna shovel and do a lot of heavy lifting all at once, that is actually when a lot of heart attacks do occur. Kevin, run! Kevin, run! Oh, the bird seed. That's so gross. Oh, the pigeons. Every time we go out, I have to literally tell my wife to not feed the birds. Feed the birds. Just be careful, especially because they're not the cleanest animals in the world. Make sure you don't get infections from them. It's really funny. I love Marv squeals. <laughs> Any birds, you really have to worry about the talons and their beaks. They're just sharp, they can cause puncture injuries, they can cause lacerations, could have different types of fecal material or other micro pathogens on there. Come on. Window? I mean, like, pause for a second, assess the situation. You already went through the house and you know where the weird tricks and the weird gadgets are versus let me go out of a two-story building on a weird rope to chase after a little kid. Yeah. Not going out the window? What, you scared, Marv? And then I definitely probably wouldn't go about crossing a rope like that. Throw your feet up on the rope so you have a stabilizing base. Just to get a base. So your feet are on it. And I would go backwards. Would it be right to say that maybe common sense went right out the window? Hey guys, check this out. Oh, go back. Go back. Go You're back. right in the middle. Go, go back. Okay. Uh, yeah. can have shoulder issues from holding on too much, getting dislocated from that weird position. You can cause fractures, you can tear any of the muscles and ligaments and tendon attachments of the shoulder itself. The other component is you're hitting into a brick wall. You can cause any types of fractures, contusions, abrasions. I am a big, huge fan of Home Alone. I used to even have the soundtracks when I was a kid on a cassette tape. I know most of you don't even know what that is. If you guys have any other holiday movies you want me to check out, please let me know in the comments below. Continue to check out the merch it's still limited run the link is in the description below definitely check out this playlist right over here binge watch all those videos and as always please make sure you subscribe turn those bell notifications on and hit that like button for me thank you so much for watching and stay healthy my friends